Fucking Palo says finding a way up Yara is priority number one. Okay. He wants to run while we got real problems. I heard our friend. Hopefully, we get to use Zebra Horse. Through Yarin Academy. He's a doctor, but they took his fucking license for helping us out. It's like it's a crime to help anyone who's not a true Yara. <laughs> Killing <laughs> God's very important to Japanese I RPGs. I would know. Are some of the are some of the storylines in Japanese oh, RPGs? Until the heat dies down, but you're up on, right? You know, yeah, there's something. There's something. I'll tell you one of the best Japanese games I've played in a long time. Time lads is Scarlet Nexus. I didn't think it'd be my type of game, but I downloaded it. Well, I, yeah, I downloaded it on Steam and started playing it, and it is fantastic. We've we've streamed it and finished it. Uh, Fishing Hut, Gorilla Garrison. We'll do that. You send you to help me. You didn't play Scarlet Nexus. Give it a go, Tyrell. Honestly, it's really good, dude. The combat's a bunch of fun. The story's a little bit, a little bit drawn out. But the thing is, with a lot of the games like that, the the stories are drawn out anyway, right? But it's it's a lot of fun. Ready to get your hands dirty? Ooh, I I've got Code Vein. I haven't played it yet though. I am going to, at some point. I really like the art style of it, like that cell shaded look. So we're going to give that a go at some point, see if it's any good. I'll be honest, it don't look the best game. What's the drill instructor do? Oh, purchase weapons. Oh, okay. All right, let's uh, let's upgrade some more stuff. This place is looking better, no? I've got God Eater on my Steam wish list, but I haven't bought it yet. Um, right, let's get the the barracks. Let's do that. That's all you. A bit of me. But I haven't bought it yet. I don't know if it'd be my type of game. See, like. My Steam wish list isn't a wish list of games that I want. It's games that I've, I've I found look that look interesting, or could be fun for us to have a look at. So it's not necessarily games I want, you know. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to have a look at that then. Is it actually a good game though, Tyrell God Eater? Because they've got them on on Steam. Like I said, I've got them on my wish list. But if it's a good game, I'll uh, I'll check it out, man. We are going to be doing Spider Man when that comes out on the twelfth. I've bought a copy of it for the PC. I'm very excited because I loved the. Uh, The PS4 version. Um, I got it on CD keys. It is 50 odd quid on Steam. Or it is 38 on... I wanted to jump off that. Or it is 38 on CD keys. So. That's where I got mine from. They'll just send you the code then when, when it releases on the 12th of August. And the thing is. The 12th of August that weekend. Well, and the week after, I'm home alone because the missus and the boy are going camping because if you didn't know, it's summer holidays here in the UK for the kids at the minute. So they're going camping. So that weekend, because I'm not working, obviously, it's going to be uh, a lot of Spider-Man going on. From the trailers, the stuff that I've seen, it looks amazing. Like, it looks so fucking pretty. 70 hours on God Eater 3. Terrell, honestly, I thought it was like um like a linear like story-based game. Am I wrong? Is it like um open world, different quests and stuff? Cause I, I honestly thought it was just like a linear, like, hey. You know, hold your hand, go through the levels, see all the maze the amazing oh, yeah. stuff happening. 
It is mission based. Oh, that's yeah, that's okay then. Like I said, I don't really play a lot of open world games on the channel just because of how big they are, right? Like I don't want to spend. Like, I'm watching excessive profanity at the minute, and he's playing Elden Ring, and he's still on his first playthrough of Elden Ring. Like, I like excessive profanity and all, but you know, I I want wanted a truck. I. Mm. That's the one. I wanted this. Oh, that's pretty cool. I might give that a go then, Terrell. I don't know, what's that? What the hell is that? I might give that a go then, because I, I like to play stuff. I like to play a variety of stuff. Like at the minute, we've got this on the go and Paper Mario, which is like an RPG, right? Well, like a ting, like basic RPG. So I do like to mix it up and play different things. It's fast food Monster Hunter. Well, I enjoyed Monster Hunter World. I haven't played Rise yet. I have got it. Me and Fisty are going to do the co-op on it at some point. We were going to do it last weekend or the weekend before, but my Switch Online thing has ran out. And I, I haven't renewed it yet. <laughs> so we are going to do that at some point. Hopefully that'll be a bunch of fun. Don't mess with the tanks. But yeah, I did enjoy Monster Hunter World. I never bought the Iceborne DLC. I don't normally buy DLC for my games. All right, let's take this checkpoint, boys. Fuck you. Dude, this handgun's pretty sharp. Oh, fuck! Oh, my God. He must have been cucking a grenade. You don't need backup. There we go. Icebone's not a DLC, it's extension. You know what I mean, Tyrell. You know what I mean. Like, I don't normally buy add-ons and stuff. You know? Yeah. But I, I enjoyed Monster Hunter World. I thought it was alright. I had it on the PS4. It'd be probably a good idea to I'll give it a go on the PC though, right? Over here, want? my friend. Maria Marquesa Productions is where Maria. No, I don't want to climb, I want to pick that up. Alright, let's listen to what you've got to say. Or not. Hello? Maria Marquesa ah, Productions is where Maria films all her propaganda. She treats her workers like shit. Go help them out. Thanks. Right, okay, we've got that now. All right, let's go in here. Yeah, I might give it a go on PC. Next time it goes on sale, I might pick it up, you know. Because that goes on sale quite often, I think. I've seen it on sale a bunch of times, but I've just never bought it. What did you play on Tyrell when you played Monster Hunter like World? Because you're you're like a full blown PC guy, right? DLC is a pink cat. You know what I mean, Tyrell. You know what I mean. Everything that everything, right? That doesn't come with the game is DLC to me. You know? Like everything. No matter what game it's for. It's like, yeah, that's DLC. I'll tell you what I don't like is, you know, when they release day one DLC for your game, it's like you could have patched that shit in for free. Because you you were clearly had nearly finished that by the like by the time the game had come out, right? Hey, here's some day one DLC for a tenner. Like fuck you. Dahlia, I'm at the academy. Looks like the inmates took over. Fuck yes. Should make this easy. No, listen to me. The army is here. There's going to be a fight. Oh, God. Oh, 
Oh, you've cleared them out. Pretty sharpish. Has to be another way in. Right, okay, I guess we're climbing over the back or something. We came here in the Stranger Things like mission. That was a cool mission that I wasn't expecting in this game. Right, okay, how the fuck do I get up there? Ah, there we go. This is going to be like a hold the position type of thing, right? Oh. Cutscene! I love a good cutscene, boys. I, a few boys love cutscenes. My buddy Fisty is playing through Uncharted 1 at the minute. He's nearly finished it. He's very close to the end. One problem? If I let go of this artery, he dies. I need a trauma kit. Guards keep the supplies locked in the pharmacy in the other building. I'll go get it. Rapido, por favor. So he was playing that for hours last night as well. Right, before we uh, before we go and help this this dude, there's a chance he may bleed out, but you know, whatever. We're going looking for the stuff that we can collect. Right, can't go in there. Like, apparently, there's a crate here somewhere. Is it downstairs? Oh, you know what, Apple? You may find that in one of, like, the, um, the retro categories, you know? They play loads of shit there. I used to, like, uh, watch Midori doing the, the uh, retro stuff. He hasn't been alive in a while. I hope he's all right. Like, I hope he's doing okay. My ritual was I'd wake up in the morning, uh, clock into work, and then watch Midori play in, playing games. It was great. Right, okay, so we need to go out and come back in. Oh, I just broke Danny's legs. Oh! <laughs> I love it. With a, with a bonus week of Sakuna Rice and Ruin. Uh, Pip played that. It looks good. It looks a good game. They have some good recommendations, Apple. I'm not going to lie. Wait, there's a crate here? Okay, we found like a hidden little bunker. Okay. Ooh, what's this? A transubinator? I can't read. The Sakuna looks good, Apple. Have you played it yet? Have you finished it? I know you were excited for that one. I'm excited to see Quicks get stuck into Max Payne 2. I think it's a much better than much better game. Oh my god. They booby trapped it? I think it's a much better game than the first Max Payne. So I'm excited to see him get stuck into that. Oh, wow, that didn't go far at all. <laughs> oh, that did next to nothing. You completely forgot about Xenoblade till yesterday. I know Pip was super hyped for it, and it must be good, because he put hours into that game yesterday. I was watching for a little bit. I wasn't watching too long, though, because by the time I got home and stuff, it was super late. But I'm glad he's enjoying it, because there's nothing worse than looking forward to a game. 
I'm being dog shit. Um, Matthias, Horizon Forbidden West. Get back fast. Soldados are at our door. All right, run away. Horizon Forbidden West, and after me. Where's that kid? On my way. And I feel absolutely wounded about it still to this day. That was going to be my game of the year. Like, without a doubt, that, that was going to be my game of the year. And then they did that. <laughs> That's so ridiculous, those mines. Like, between, like, the story not being great and, like, the over-sharpening or whatever the hell they did to the graphics, oh, my God. I was not happy. The trauma kit. Gracias. I need to stabilize him, Danny. Keep the soldados off my back. Okay. Nobody gets close. Nadie. Morning coming. Oh my god, my, my analog stick couldn't keep up with Couldn't keep up with uh, um, Touch Oh man, I love I love some Ubisoft junk. It is. It's got that that mad. It's got that setting, right? That similar setting and stuff. Um. So. You mean you mean that's not gonna blow that up? Oh my god, it can take rockets. There we go. Right, we better heal up. Matias, you done? I need more time. Shit, we're pushing it here. What? You want to switch? Oh, God. oh dude, check the tree out. Deforestization. Some of the weapons, like, uh, like the gunplay in this feels a little bit janky sometimes. Fuck you all. I do love the explosives though. Um, I'll be honest, Doc, I'm a bit, I'm a bit uh, thinly spread, yeah? Right, heal up. You know, that could be that could be a pretty good theory, you know, Quicks, mate. Like if they're trying too hard to make the game You know get out there more uh, if it isn't like gonna gonna look too good and that. And they're getting like these big streamers and stuff to play it. You know, like when they get these uh these COD guys to go to the, the Call of Duty reveal events and stuff them to get onto the YouTube and be like, oh my god, this is amazing, and insert X hype word here. You know? Wait, can I just climb up this? I can. Okay, we don't have to worry about the, the really messed up grapple hooking. 
Where the fuck are these guys? I've got the high ground Anakin. I can hear a chopper as well. Oh my god. Like sometimes it feels like the aim assist you get on the controller is pushing rather than pulling you towards the enemy. It feels a little bit odd, lads, I'm not gonna lie. Fuck you. Alright, that's it, I think. I think we smashed it. Smashed it, boys. Oh, I do have to go back. Yeah, I find that quick. Um, I found that with Bio Mutant. Like, I hadn't watched trailers. There weren't a mass amount of them from what I've seen. I bought it, played it, and absolutely adored that game. It was so, so charming and cute. There was no anesthetic. I thought it was fantastic. Black market hookup fell through. <sighs> Even then. Another one, in all fairness to the game, was Trek to You Me. I didn't see much Welcome about that. There wasn't like adverts There's for it on fucking YouTube and Twitch. Everywhere. And it was a good game up until when the input started to go a bit funny at the end. You know? It was a good game all the way up until then, so I'm not going to moan too much about it. Dalia, I got Matias out. Gracias. Yes. And Paolo will thank you yes. when he finds um, out. Danny, you're one of the I seen a trailer for of good ones in Libertad, you know? a game. I think you'd fit right in. Either this morning or last there. night, and it's set in the in the Warframe universe. I think it's called Soulframe, and it looks good Maybe. from what you see. Like, the idea you're going to get of what type of game it's going to be. Because you know what Warframe is. But it's not like robots and mechs and stuff this time. It looks like magic and, and things like that. I think that could be good. 